one point, so 112 over 2 is also about 0 0.66. So 66 and 66. This whole thing out, came out to about 0.65 or something. I think come out. What did you get? Really? Come out to 0.6 and one third of one third is two third. I would say coming out closer to point, point, point 0.6. Any? No, no, well, how much this piece by itself? The square root of it. Then you gotta square root it. No, 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 what? It what it? Let me tell you why I think the answer is close to, I could be wrong, but the, how much is one third plus one third? It's two thirds, right? That's about 0 0.65, 0 0.67 really. How much is 1.2 divided by two? It's also about 0.61. So 0 0.61 times 0 0.61, square root it gotta come out to 0 0.61. So 63 is the right answer? Okay, so the right answer, this has come out to 0 0.63. And how much is 63 times 434? So this came out to 2 point, so after all is said and done, this whole thing came out to 2.77. Okay, so we put it over here. Everybody with me so far? Now, so it's not, a, again, it's not an advanced calculation, but you just gotta plug in the numbers. Now, what's gonna be the conclusion? Well, this number here basically tells us, like all the other hypothesis testing, how much is the boundary between saying the two things are pretty close together or saying they're pretty far apart. Anything lower than 2.77 means what? That this number here is considered negligible. If it's bigger than 2.77, then it's considered a big far, as far apart and we reject the A0. So since, so the conclusion is since, oh my God, I didn't realize we finished right. 2.77 is, I'm sorry, since 0.67 is lower than 2.77, Since 0 0.67 is lower than 2.77, that implies that we what? Reject A0 or accept A0? We accept it because basically it's saying this is hardly any difference at all. They're basically the same numbers. So we do not reject A0. That's the first thing you write down. And which means what? Drug one and drug two are the same. One and two are same. Not really the same, but similar really are same. Okay? Let's continue. How far apart is average one compared to average three? Well, hopefully by now somebody did that calculation. Anybody do it yet? Average one is equal to three. Average three, average is equal to 7.33. So I think it comes out to 4.33. Am I right about that? Okay, 4.33 is the difference of the averages. What is the critical range? Now you gotta calculate this whole thing again. Well, the Q's gonna stay the same. The MSW is going to stay the same. The only question is, will the, the sample size stay the same? In this case, they do stay the same. So this got to also be a 2.77. And now here we have a different conclusion. Since 4.33 is bigger than 2.77, we are told that, that we reject the 8.0, at least the mini 8.0, which means that drug 1 and 3, because we're comparing drug 1 and drug 3, are different. And since we're out of time, I'll let you do the other thing, the homework. So the homework for next time is to apply this to finish up the example, apply it to the spinner assignment, and more importantly, apply it to all the examples in chapter 11, the beginning of chapter 11 that we skipped so far, that ask you to do the Tukey Kramer. And sorry for keeping you late, but... Uh, so does that mean that the whole thing is... No, it's a three separate, it means that drug one, and th like you think, drug number three is different than drug number one. No, no, no. It's a, it's a mini H1. It's a, it's a separate. It's a separate hypothesis. In other words, we have this was the overall hypothesis. Now we have three little mini may I call it mini hypotheses. You know, it's a, it's a three separate little conclusions.